cool. Here comes Paul. Enid Buzz. I love it. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Are you Cassidy? I am not. No. <laughs> I don't know. I guess there is no thing. I'm, I'm Curtis I'm Tucker. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice Curtis Tucker. Nice to meet you. And of course, Mr. Stanley. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my buddy Todd Wheeler right here. Hey, nice sir. Nice to meet you. Yep. So, so we'll just set you guys up in front. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So we have about three minutes, guys. We'll just tap you as soon as. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. We were here when you were the, here the first time. Yes. So uh, tell us a little bit about how things have progressed out here and kind of the expansion and what's different now that, than when you were here before. Well, you know, expansion is uh, the result of success. So for us to add 2,300 square feet and 80 uh, class two um, machines. So we're, we're doing the rock and roller slot room. And uh, we couldn't have done that without the all the local people and everybody coming in uh, off of 35 coming in here and making this the spot. Um, it's, uh, it's something very special for us because anytime that we can come into a, an area and make a rock and bruise your rock and bruise, that's what makes it work. Yeah, so, so tell everybody what, like, what rock influences or what, what rock and roll are they going to see in the new rock and roller slot room? Oh, there's all kinds of, there's great machines in there. I don't want to give it away, but uh, when you've got 80 machines, you've got a whole lot of variety. And, you know, again, the, the casino is just uh, state of the art. And what we've done in here is, is uh, pretty special. If you haven't been here, we're waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, I mean, the art on the walls is beautiful. All the posters, all everything in here is great. So, so music-wise, real quick, yeah. uh, any solo things coming up? Nothing right now. You know, uh, I spent uh, close to 50 years doing, doing that. So I'm taking a little break and okay. traveling and doing things. And, uh, but yeah, for sure, you know, music's in my blood. Rock and roll's in my blood. Rock and brews is in my blood. Well, I saw you had bought a new guitar, and yeah. you posted that on Twitter. Yes. So, and you said that kind of got the juices going totally. a little bit. Yeah. I, Just I, anything new with Soul Station? Any anything um, coming up with that? Going going to do some shows. Um, that's that's long overdue, and it's uh, another part of who I am, you know. So, yeah. Um, playing with a 15-piece band and having horns and uh, other singers, you know, all that stuff. That's some great music, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that uh, there's so much great music and um, it all falls into the rock category, but you've got Motown, you've got Philly Soul, you've got you know, a lot of uh, contemporary artists and all of that uh, in some way or another is tied to rock and roll. Yeah. Real quick, uh, I follow you, uh, your art. Yes. I love, love seeing your new paintings and stuff. Mm. What, any, any one thing in particular that inspires your paintings when just, you're doing those? Just freedom, you know. Um, some people want to create a certain style. I want to create an approach, and the approach is to do whatever I want. That's what life should be about. No boundaries, no preconceived ideas of limitations. And uh, if you had told me, you know, 40, 50 years ago, um, I'd be here at Rock and Bruce <laughs> instead of on stage. Uh, I'd say you're pretty crazy, but here we are. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Paul. Hey, Get out pleasure. of here. Nice to see you. Uh, nice to see you. Hello, sir.